Hello everybody, I'm Patty and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do some gardening here in my backyard for wildlife. I'm in Virginia Beach, Virginia. We are zone 8A and we get tons of butterflies here. Uh, this one that we're looking at now is a black swallowtail. I believe that is the uh, state butterfly for Virginia and they are very active right now. Um, this one is getting nectar and a butterfly weed plant. I planted these from seed. Um, I had them in the wrong place last year so they didn't do very well but this year I put them in the right place and they're doing really well and butterflies of all kinds really like the butterfly weed. So he's getting plenty of nectar, or she, I'm guessing she, plenty of nectar and living their best butterfly life. I am currently in the uh, Master Gardener program here in Virginia Beach, and that is a wonderful program. Every city in the uh, country has that, and I would uh, recommend that if you are somebody who also loves plants and wildlife that you look into the programs in your city and you can just take classes and programs with the master gardeners you don't have to get into the volunteer aspect of it if that is something that doesn't work for your schedule right now but uh, it's very rewarding I have to tell you it's a Sunday and I'm working in the yard today and one of the things that I need to take care of is getting fresh food for the uh, butterflies or I should say caterpillars that are growing in my garden. Um, I shared with you a couple of weeks ago about my pollinator garden that I put in and I will um, I'll link to that now. But I also want to share with you another aspect of the pollinator gardening that I do that I didn't cover in that video, and that is growing things uh, specifically to attract butterflies to lay eggs and to help uh, bring caterpillars along so that we have a new generation of butterflies. Monarchs get a lot of attention, and rightfully so but there are a lot of other butterflies out there and they all really could use a little bit of help at this point. The main butterfly that I get here is the black swallowtail and they love parsley plants. And so I'm running to the farm stand that's close to me and we're picking up a fresh parsley plant <laughs> and I'll show you how I use that in my butterfly garden. Okay, here we go. is the closest farm stand to my house um, in Virginia Beach we have the coolest thing where we have we have a year-round farmers market that I live close to but we also have um, I don't know maybe a half a dozen or so of these um, roadside markets that um, there's some kind of partnership with the city I don't know all the ins and outs I need to find out but we have these amazing farm stands that are so well stocked and run by real farmers who live in the area. It's such a blessing and it's such a resource and we're going to go now and I'm going to show you all the butterflies that she has and some of what's going on here. 
Okay, let's go. back in my backyard and I have um, two enclosures here that I keep my uh, caterpillars in and I started with a small one and it's just too darn small and I also had started with doing uh, cut parsley in water for the caterpillars and that didn't do really well so this year I've switched over to giving them uh, live plants and they seem to be doing a lot better and I just recently got myself this really big enclosure <laughs> that was my birthday gift for myself so that I could take better care of my caterpillars and the reason that I put them in the enclosure is because uh, if I don't do this the caterpillars all get eaten before they have a chance to become butterflies and um, you know I, that's just what happens and I know that it's, it's really good food for the birds it's good food for um, the salamanders and all of that but you know I'd like to have some butterflies they are really great pollinators and they just have great energy and so I do what I can do to help them along so um, let me show you a little bit closer up if we can see it um, and this little small enclosure. If I look down in here, hold on, let me open this up. Oh, shit. What I want you to see in here um, is up in that top corner, I've got two chrysalis. So those are gonna be two butterflies. And then there's another one that is like right at the very top here by the, the zipper. I'm gonna close this thing back up. And I don't know what it is about, oh my God, we can't really see it. I don't know what it is about this particular habitat, but they really liked getting right up here on the zipper. And so it was just really hard for me to change the food and do whatever I was doing. Uh, so this year I went to the much bigger one I found this on Amazon for like $10. It was a really good deal. And what I like is I can open from the front and I have full access. So let's look at what's going on in here. Okay, so you can see they've pretty well defoliated this parsley. <laughs> and you know, that's okay, that's what they eat. Butterfly species all have particular plants that are host plants for their um, caterpillars and for the um, black swallowtail, parsley is a favorite and they really like the curly parsley. They will lay and eat the flat parsley, but the curly is the favorite. So uh, <laughs> you can see like this, this plant is pretty well done. I've still got a couple of caterpillars on there. I'm gonna carefully move them to the new plant. Um, this is a plant that had started to make a comeback and I put it in there last night and you can see that they've already moved themselves over there. So <laughs> we're going to uh, rearrange some things in here and we're gonna get this nice healthy new plant that I just got over at Cindy's and we're gonna put it in here so they have food. 
<laughs> they eat a lot, a, a whole lot. But the nice thing with the parsley is um, it will come back. So even though they've um, basically stripped it bare, the uh, the plants will recover. So let's um, let's get in here. You can also see down here in the bottom. That's all of their poop. So they they go a lot. And I'm sure like this is like really incredible fertilizer in the garden. Um, but if I leave them in the garden, they're going to get eaten. And the squirrels could be getting them. Uh, I have those salamanders that are like skinks running around. They could be getting them. Any number of um, little varmints could be eating my caterpillars. And I'd like to have butterflies. So we're going to help them along. Okay, so you can see that they're pretty active. And they're just going to town on that uh, that sprig of parsley. So we're gonna get some fresh food in there for him. And uh, like that big one, he's getting really close to where he's gonna be ready for a chrysalis. Ooh, we might be having a little bit of a disagreement here. So, uh, all right, let's get the new food in. I'm also going to put in some taller sticks so they have some other things to climb because they do like to climb, obviously. Okay, I'll meet you back in a second. Okay, so I'm like really down low trying to take this video. Um, this stick I found, it's a good height. It'll go in there really well. It's got a whole bunch of little areas where the caterpillars can hang and their chrysalis form. So I'm hoping that they'll like this, but we've got to get them um, onto their new thing. So I can move them out like in the whole plant. Here we'll just, Aren't they cool? I like this method of using the live plant because then I can just only handle them just very, very minimally. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is before I um, put everything back in, I'm going to go ahead and rinse out uh, the habitat. It's kind of gross. It's filthy. Um, let's get that cleaned up and I'll meet you back here. I'm going to show you over here in the garden. Um, this bed, I'm, I'm switching over to being like a pollinator garden from my backyard. And I put some parsley in here in the spring, and you can see it's got caterpillars on it as well. And I have moved caterpillars from this plant into the habitat um, throughout the season. So there's five of them on there now. And I can leave them, but what's going to happen is they're going to defoliate this plant. Um, there won't be any parsley left. And there's a good bet that as soon as the caterpillars are big enough to get ready to go into their uh, cocoon, they're going to get eaten. And I know that's a good protein source for a bird or something, but I don't want to be feeding squirrels, and I do have a squirrel problem back here, and I don't want to be feeding the little salamanders. Um, so we're going to move these guys uh, into the enclosure. Right now I'm just letting it sit in the sun and dry a little bit before I put our uh, current residents back in. Over here on this other parsley, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but those little uh, yellow dots those are eggs and a black swallowtail laid those earlier today and there's another one and there's a couple more up there so the swallowtails are super active right now and um, parsley is a host plant for their young and that's why I'm getting all this black swallowtail activity back here because I think I'm the only one who has the um, the plants out for them. So the, uh, I was thinking maybe this would be the last plant I'd have to buy this season for them, but um, now I'm gonna guess probably not. So anyway, they are eating machines, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm just kind of hanging out and waiting on that butterfly house to dry in the sun. I'm just kind of sitting with my kids here and I kind of think I'm going to have to run back over to Cindy's <laughs> and get another fresh plant because 
I can watch him just defoliating the plants as, as I'm sitting here. It's unbelievable. So anyway, um, I think by the time I get these guys onto the new plant and put it back in there and move the ones out of the garden that I showed you, I'm going to need a second plant. So it looks like we're going to go back to Cindy's. <laughs> okay, so I've got the new plant into the enclosure and um, I'm going to take these guys. There's three, there's three of them on this plant. We're going to just um, carefully move them and put them in there. So here we go. So you can see what I'm doing. So I don't handle them directly. What I'll do is um, I'll trim way down and um, put him right onto the new plant. There you go. This one's markings are a little bit different, so I don't know if that's a different butterfly or not. I don't like to touch them because um, supposedly that can be uh, bad for them. Okay, there's nobody else there. See, in that one, I got two at one time. And yeah, they would be healthier in the garden, but the thing is, they'll totally defoliate what's in the garden. And then when the butterflies come through, they won't have anywhere to lay. So I'm just trying to give them as best a chance as I can. Okay, let's run to Cindy's and get another plant. I did wind up going back to Cindy's for another plant. I got a flat leaf. Um, <laughs> there were people over there buying what she had left in the curly parsley by the flat, uh, all for butterflies. So I'm not the only um, person in the city who's crazy for butterflies. And in fact, they insisted I bring home this guy. <laughs> <laughs> they picked them all off of uh, what they had um, sitting there at the stand and they, it's like 40 or 50 caterpillars so I, I brought another one home <laughs> just what I need another mouth to feed but anyway here we go so we're going to put uh, this inside I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to nip this off let me get the scissors Just, I'm gonna just nip off. They're kind of yellowed. It can just come off before I put it in there. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put this one in. Oh, maybe we'll take that one too. They're yellowed. They're not really healthy plants, so they're probably not gonna eat those leaves anyway. So we'll just take, just take those off, and here we go. Okay. Oh, no, it's not. I thought I had another one. Just. Okay. All right. I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and close this up. Okay, and our uh, caterpillars are all safe. They've got plenty of food, they got a thing to climb on, so they should be pretty happy in there. Thanks so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little glimpse of what I'm doing in my backyard to help the wildlife in the area. Um, you know, gardening for butterflies is super fun. And here comes another one now. <laughs> um, it's super fun. It's a great activity you can do with your children or your grandchildren. It's a great way to introduce them to nature and um, just living a kinder, gentler life. So thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, I'll 
do my best to answer them. Pop them in the comments below and um, be sure that you like the video and subscribe before you leave. Okay, thanks a lot.